Hello. Welcome back to another server spotlight, a series in which we go over an overview of a server, take a little look at it, go over its main features, some of maybe the criminal activities and jobs, as well as the illegal ones, and then end it off with a new player experience, and then talk a little bit about my thoughts on the server and give it a rating from 1 to 10. Now, we've already done, I think, two episodes of this. We did one on Dreamworld RP, and then we did one on Subversion RP. Now, we're going to be doing one on Twitch RP. Now, before this video starts, I will also give the preface of this video that it does take a long time to be accepted. So, if you are looking to apply to the server, it is going to take you probably five to six weeks to be accepted, just because they do get a lot of applications, and the server is relatively popular. Just wanted to give a preface at the beginning of this video, just so you guys would know that it does take a long time to get in. So, first, again, we are going to be starting off with an overview of the server. So let's start off with that right now. So Twitch RP was originally released mid-year of 2017. It is a VoIP only server focused around creating a good environment for streamers with tons of streamers on the server and a very nice community to go along with it. It also uses an interesting version of OneSync Infinity that allows for up to 250 players with almost no notice lag. I was getting in most spots around anywhere from 100 to 120 FPS, which normally is a lot higher than average I get on most servers. And that was at a time where there was 170 people on it as well. They also have a ton of custom interiors and custom shops and businesses made specifically for players. They also had a lot of custom props as well as buildings for the RP. As recently I actually had saw that they added a Christmas tree where everyone on the server actually had to hunt I think 38 different ornaments or something down to be able to rebuild the Christmas tree and then everyone was rewarded with gifts which I thought was really really cool and events like this really make servers feel a lot more like a real community. The server also boasts a ton of jobs that have leveling systems and progression systems so as you rank up during these different scripted jobs you actually unlock more systems of making money and better ways to make money as well as it tying into a lot of different RP factors. There's also an advanced skill system where as you level up you unlock new crafting recipes as well as new ways to do things and also of course boost your proficiency with different items as well as different activities and more. Alrighty, so now that we have gone over a brief overview of the server, we're going to quickly be focusing on some of the main features. So starting off looking at the jobs, there's quite a few of them. There is a garbage job, a delivery job, a mechanic job, a car dealer job. You can become a state trooper or PD. You can become a lawyer or a paralegal as well, a realtor, various EMS jobs such as doctor and nurse, and also all of these jobs have a leveling system where as you level up you unlock more profitable means of business as well as new crafting items and more. Now, as I just said, there is a whole leveling system with the jobs, but there also is a separate skill system that you can also level up. As you're just on the server going and doing different things, you'll be leveling up different skills such as driving, stamina, uh, strength, and other ones that will also give you more advantages like, for example, uh, leveling up your stamina will obviously allow you to run for longer durations of time. So there are a couple different main skill categories that we're going to be going over quickly. First of all, there's the mechanical skills, then the science skills, crime skills, and physical skills. So first of all, again, we're going to be going over the mechanical skills. So for mechanical skills, there is two main ones being tuning and repair. If you level up your tuning skill, it will improve your ability to upgrade vehicles. And if you level up your repair skill, it will obviously improve your ability to repair vehicles. Now for science skills, there are two as well, which are chemistry and hacking. Chemistry, leveling up that will unlock new crafting options for the chemistry proficiency. Leveling up hacking will advance your ability to hack electronic devices and I'm guessing more advanced electronic devices and faster. Now for crime skills, there are actually quite a couple. I believe there's seven main ones that you can level up. The first up is lockpicking. Leveling this up increases your aptitude at unlocking things that are locked. And of course, the higher level is, the more advanced stuff you can pick lock. Next is drug manufacturing. Now obviously the higher drug manufacturing level you are is the more advanced drugs and probably more faster drugs you're able to produce. Now again, I don't know every single part of this in detail or for exact. I'm just inferring or guessing for most of these. Um, there is a little bit of a wiki on their website that I am also referring off of and from being in game but again I didn't have time to level up all these skills but there is some info on their website to give me some information and then I'm also inferring what it would probably mean. There is also a forgery skill which again I'm guessing the higher level your forgery level and increases your aptitude to of course create more advanced forged documents. There is also a drug trafficking skill which again will just increase your aptitude at pushing drugs. 
Now those are the main crime skills and the last skill set we're going to be looking at today is physical skills and these are kind of the main ones you'll build of your character over time. So first there is strength and now increasing strength will then allow players to be able to hold more items in their personal inventory. There is fitness and increasing your fitness increases your stamina and allows players to run for longer amounts of time. There is toughness which increases your health allowing of course your character to be a bit tougher and lastly there is mining which increases how efficiently you're able to mine. Now lastly before going into the new player experience we're going to be talking about the illegal slash criminal activities on the server. So starting off there is of course hacking which you can hack players bank accounts indiscreetly and steal from them which I'm guessing doesn't actually steal from players bank accounts but instead steals from the server. There is robbing stores which again you can rob these stores to hopefully outsmart the PD and you can also steal ingredients here that are needed for other illegal activities as well as getting dirty cash. There is robbing slash hacking businesses which you can steal small sums of money, dirty money or transfer hack capital to your own business. There is robbing banks, which of course you can outsmart PD to try and steal large sums of dirty money. There is running weed and there are heists. Now I'm not sure about how the heists work completely. Again, since this is just a review, I'm not able to go into all of the features super in depth in this video, but this is meant to just be kind of an overview and give you kind of an idea or a rough idea of the server's features. So now with that done, we are finally going to be moving into the new player experience. So let's start that off with flying in to Los Santos. Alrighty, so starting off with the new player experience, we're greeted with this very nice little holiday screen. And after seeing that for a while, we of course moved over to the character select screen. Now, I think honestly this screen is pretty damn unique. I don't think I've ever seen a character select screen like this. I thought it was very clean, thought it was very nice. And uh, after checking it out for a little bit, decided of course we would go ahead and create our character. After loading in uh, and waiting a second or two, we are asked to of course fill out our passport where we put in our first name, last name, our height, uh, date of birth, and I believe our gender. And then after doing so, we are brought over to the character select screen, which you will see in just a second. So I thought this character uh, customization screen was a little lacking in my opinion. I thought it was really nice, but uh, there was a couple portions as you will see right now where my character looks away, I have to move my mouse, stuff like that. It just made it a little bit hard to fully customize the character easily. And also when I was going to of course customize like the pants and the shoes and such, I had to just zoom out instead of being able to just click a button to look at my pants or shoes. So it was a little frustrating, but uh, definitely, you know, just a normal character creation screen. Nothing super, super interesting here. But uh, I definitely had a couple problems with it. Uh, overall though, pretty decent character selection screen or character creation. But uh, I would definitely like to be able to select, you know, what part of the body I'm looking at, stuff like that, that is available on most servers. But overall, a pretty generic selection screen. And after that, decided to run up the airport. I also found this little ticket booth where you're able to further customize your character if you didn't do so beforehand, which was also pretty nice, I guess, if you didn't do that at the beginning. And then after getting out of the airport, I uh, was a little confused because it didn't seem like there were any rentals on the map. But after looking for a little bit, I noticed a rental spot on the map and proceeded to go over there and check it out, of course. Now, uh, it was a little bit of a hike. I had to go all around the whole entire airport, basically. But when I finally got over there, it actually wasn't a rental spot. But instead, it was a go-kart track, which uh, I, at the time, I guess, I didn't really have too much of a problem with. So I decided to go test it out, try out the vehicle rental, and there I was able to actually rent a go-kart for this little track. Um, I think this track is honestly really, really cool. And honestly, would give a lot of people a lot of stuff to do or little events here and there, little go-kart races. I think having stuff like this on a server really makes it feel more like a city and having these little events that people are able to go to or little leisure activities that people are able to go to really helps a server out. And after a while of doing the go-kart, I actually messed around on that track for quite a while because it was a lot of fun to do, decided we would finally steal a car. I also noticed that there was no like lockpicking uh, minigame or lockpicking animation or anything like that. You kind of just hop in a car like normal GTA and steal it. So I thought that was a little bit interesting. Uh, I also saw that there were NPC cops, but they didn't seem to really do anything. So I'm not really sure about uh, what the NPC cops are used for or if that's just because of the version of one sync that they use. 
I mentioned earlier in the overview of the server, they use a very weird version of one sync where it seems like stuff loads in and out depending on your area. Uh, it definitely is nice because I was getting a constant around probably 90 to 120 FPS the whole time, but the uh, local spawning in and out every once in a while were a little frustrating for sure as you'll see later on in the video. So after looking around for a little bit, I decided to check out the phone, which was pretty nice as well. Uh, I had a pretty clean damn UI. Also, you could see me looking at the player list for a second there. Again, there were about 160 players when I was playing at this time. So I checked out the phone a little bit. Uh, you're able to navigate with the arrow keys, but you can also turn on being able to use your mouse, which I honestly prefer. So I turned that on as well. Uh, I checked out the phone a little bit more. Again, it has a pretty clean UI. Not a ton of apps. There's a nice little Twitter thing uh, where you can have pictures, I think, as well on it. Pretty clean. Uh, you can actually like and reply and stuff to tweets, which not a lot of servers have. So I thought that was pretty cool as well. Also, uh, of course, the phone for all the different things, such as lawyer, EMS, and everything, your messages. And then if you hit the little home button, there actually was uh, quite a couple different apps, which I thought were pretty cool as well. Again, nothing super, super unique about the phone. It was very clean and was very responsive, which I liked. There was also this dark chat, which I'm not exactly sure how you gain access to, because I wasn't able to type or do anything in it. There was also, of course, my bank where I saw that you started off with, I think, you started off with $300, I believe, because I think I spent, we spent a little bit at the rental renting that go-kart out. Then after this, I decided we would drive around for a little bit and find something new to do. So I decided to go head over to this motorcycle dealership, check out some of the prices. Honestly, the prices weren't horrible. Of course, uh, once you get to a certain level of motorcycle, they definitely get up there, but the prices didn't seem too horrible. And as you'll see later on, the economy on the server is definitely a little bit more on the inflated side, unfortunately. But again, that still doesn't really matter as you make more money and of course stuff costs more money. That's just kind of how it is on some servers. And it seems to be the economy over here is a little bit more inflated. But I definitely checked out all of the bikes. Uh, it's really cool how they do their dealerships as you'll see later on in this video. Every dealership kind of owns a kind of vehicle vehicle so of course you'll have a luxury car dealership you'll have a cheap car dealership you'll have an off-roader dealership you'll probably have uh, different dealerships again for different classes of vehicles I thought it was really cool and then of course after checking out some or that first dealership we went and headed over to the courthouse um, again not a super super unique interior but still a pretty damn clean one uh, I couldn't use any of these vending machines unfortunately I thought you'd be able to I also went and checked out the actual courtroom uh, again, nothing super, super interesting, but is a cool little place for some RP opportunities. Uh, again, not a super unique interior, but I thought it was a pretty cool one nonetheless. And after that, of course, we went and checked out a couple more dealerships, these two here at least, where there was a supercar exotic dealership. With these prices being pretty damn insane. Now, I do know that there is, again, different jobs on the server where you import different cars. And that might be why they're so expensive, because it might be super expensive to import as well. And, of course, the other high-end vehicles were also pretty damn expensive, with all of them being over 240 k which is pretty crazy. But, again, the economy on the server is just a little bit inflated. And after checking out both of these dealerships, I figured it was time to go ahead over to the job center and try and get ourselves our first job. So after walking up to the job center, I saw that there were seven different jobs. That being, of course, the delivery driver, fishing, garbage collection, mechanic, taxi, unemployed, which was kind of weird to have as a job, uh, and vehicle dealer. Now, because I looked on the website afterwards, I saw how each one of the jobs actually interacts and how you make money through it and level up through it. But if I was just a new player to the server, not checking out the website, I'd have no idea how to operate these jobs. When you select a job, it doesn't really give you any direction as to where to go, which I found a little bit frustrating. But again, if you were someone on the server, you would figure it out eventually. But it def definitely being a new, new player was not a great experience for this. And after picking out the mechanic job, I decided to go over to this little mechanic area. And after heading over to this little area, I saw that you could actually get a tow truck out since I was a mechanic. Although, again, after I took out the tow truck, I was super confused because, again, you are given almost no direction at all. But again, after spawning our tow truck, I really didn't know what to do for it at all. So I figured I would check the map, and at this point I saw that there was a little chop shop icon in the bottom right of the map. Now, I thought that this was new because of the mechanic job, but after looking over the footage, this chop shop had always been on the map. But being a mechanic, I figured that's probably where we should head to first. So I headed over there to go check out the chop shop. 
and after finally heading over to it, figured I would try and figure it out where I accidentally hit E and proceeded to chop my tow truck. Now again, I didn't find any way to cancel it. I tried to cancel it. I uh, tried to see if there was any possible commands to cancel it. But uh, yeah, I accidentally top chopped her tow truck by accident. Even getting out didn't seem to stop the chopping process. So uh, definitely learned a lesson here. Although after it was done chopping, I did get a couple parts, which I found pretty interesting as well. And although I had no idea what any of these parts were used for, I proceeded to go and try and check out the menus a little bit more, which I accessed by hitting G. I could bring up this player options menu. Looked around, there was uh, quite a few options. I could of course check my ID, see if I have a firearms license, or if I would want it to show it to someone, of course, show one my ID or my firearms license. Uh, here you're able to build players as well, which again, we'll use later on in this video. And uh, it's actually a pretty cool system, although these menus definitely feel a bit outdated in my opinion. They feel a bit clunky, uh, although they are really cool and they have a lot of really unique features and a lot of really, really good features. It was a little frustrating having kind of this old school kind of Rage MP style options almost, it seemed like, for a menu. But uh, overall, it was pretty decent. There was a ton of uh, emotes as well as walk styles and stuff like that. And after looking at the menu for a little bit, I decided it was time to go steal ourselves another car. And after doing so, I figured I would check out the vehicle menu as well, where I saw that there was an actual manual shifting option, which I thought was really, really cool. Uh, and I figured I would test this out a little bit. Of course, it took me a second to figure out that it was shift to upshift and control, I believe, to downshift. But once I figured it out, it was a ton of fun, actually, to be messing with this manual transmission. Uh, I probably wouldn't use it just because it is one more thing to have to focus on while driving. But if I'm just driving around by myself, it is a pretty cool feature. Uh, and after messing around with it for a little bit, I uh, realized how cool it really was. Because you can downshift before turns and stuff, uh, even though you kind of can by hitting S before a turn in normal GTA. It was cool having an actual manual transmission option in GTA since I didn't see any servers do that previously besides just like free roam servers and actual driving servers and such. So it definitely was cool to test out. And after using it for a little bit, I figured we would continue on our adventure. And after getting the job once again, which was a pretty lengthy process, we went over back to the post-op job where I was finally able to actually start the job. And after finally getting our delivery route, decided to again, after I saw our car was gone, steal another local car and go over to our first delivery, where we also got our first RP interaction on the server. Hello, Mark. Hi, you okay? Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry. Um, I'm delivering a package around here. I'm just trying to figure out why. Ah. Excellent. What is uh, your name? Zaz. Did you say Zaz? Zaz. Z Z. Oh yeah, delivery driver Zaz. Okay, yeah, sure. Come this way. All right. Is that your uh, ride back there, or is it a, a borrowed, it's a borrowed one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so when it, this is uh, Venom's uh, Auto Works, uh, this is uh, if you're gonna make any deliveries there, you're just gonna come through this way. All right. Yeah, we keep the uh, double door locked because we've basically always got the shutters open anyway. Oh, I got you, I got you. Yeah, these, these, these bulbs that I ordered earlier. <laughs> I got you. Well, thank you for very much for a rapid delivery and it should be uh, this place on there if you can. Yeah, there you go. Man. Much appreciated. Uh, when you're ready, I'll come down and I'll give it a sign. All right, mate. All right, there you Alrighty, go. All right, thank you, sir. I'm you take care of yourself. All right, mate. You take care. Also, uh, it's my first day in town. You recommend going anywhere? Or checking in at the now? Uh, just taking the scenery and don't get shot is my recommendation at this point. All righty, mate. Probably uh, checking at some of the auto workshops and uh, definitely try and get yourself a car soon so you don't get in trouble with the police. You can buy some cars for a little as uh, free to 5,000. Oh, the old wait, beers, wait. Um, <clears throat> this, hold on, let me check if it's open. It's closed at the moment, it's literally just up the road from here, like straight up there, there's cheaper customs. Um, 
you can probably I can probably give you Baldur's number and we get you some assault it. I just realized too, he needs to get a stocking. Oh yeah, he probably needs to get a stocking. Yeah, I can stocking? show you where the stocking is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we save Christmas, so uh, everyone gets a stocking. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah so yeah. you can get some pretty sick fucking gifts and if you don't want them you can sell them for some cash and that'll definitely help you get a car right away oh damn where would i grab the stock in from yeah. uh i uh, you can go to mirror park or i can i can just ride with you real quick and show you all right all right yeah, yeah. let me know what he gets i would like to buy <laughs> there you go so you might even and on the way there, he explained some stuff to me. This guy was also super nice and really helped me out with the server. And uh, thankfully, there are a lot of people like this on the server that really makes it special. So uh, there's two packages you can pick from, depending on uh, what you would like. There's a civilian package and a criminal package. The okay. criminal package has a chance of getting you a red slushie, a Mark II pistol, or an AK. Oh, done. Both some of those guns gifts. are illegal, but just to let you know, you do have a chance of getting them. <laughs> Alrighty. Hold up. Slow up. Slow up. Who dat? Who dat? Okay, never mind. Officers are here. You're fine. We can park. Alright, mate. Now I'm just making sure you weren't going to get robbed when we go to get your uh, package. Or your. Uh, yeah. so, yep. Okay. So, and then the civilian one, uh, before we get up there, Holy I'll let you know the civilian one, you can get uh, either a red slushie, a turbo booster for a car, which a lot of people are after right now, or infrared binoculars, which a lot of people are also after. Uh, people are, I can, it's like price-wise, the turbo boosters going for about 25 to 35K. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, and that, like, that's what you're gonna get in your pocket for it. The binoculars, I've seen people offer 100K for. So there you go. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with the civilian one, right? I'm trying yep. to stay on the right side of the law for now, at least. Yep, yep, no, it's always good, it's always good. So yeah, let's just kind of stay clear of them and we'll go over there. But you see where that topple tree is? We're gonna, that's where we're going. All right. Yep, and then there's gonna be a little box up there with the stockings and uh, you get your choice of one or the other. Okay, okay. But yeah, so uh, somebody toppled the tree. There were uh, about 19 ornaments or so on it. And then we had to uh, go around town and collect all the ornaments. And uh, we did that. And between a lot of us, we got all the ornaments back and we saved Christmas. Oh, shit. Yep. So, city banded together and got us these awesome stockings. Having events like this on a server really brings communities together, and it was really awesome to hear about this event that the server did, and I'm guessing, and from what I heard from other people, they do a lot of stuff like this. Holy shit, man. What happened to the tree? It fell over. Yeah, somebody topped it. We still don't know who did it. They topped it down. But yeah, go ahead and drive yourself a stocking. Uh, like I said, civilian or criminal, take your pick. Doesn't matter. Go civilian, might see what I get. All right, good luck. Infrared binoculars, might. Hell to the yeah. All right, so we don't say that out loud. You just get upset. You, you just got a slushy. Obviously, we'll okay, go back okay, to the car. Okay, okay, Goddamn, just a slushy. Yep. No, it's okay though. It's okay though. If you, if you drink that slushy, you will get the zoomies. So. <laughs> oh boy. Yep. So it's okay. So don't don't worry about that too much. But mm -hmm. it's all good for you. And after getting a little questioned by one of the bikers, I headed back to the shop where I proceeded to sell those binoculars to one of them for 70k. Uh, of course, I sold them at super discount because this guy was helping me out. And then we obviously had a little bit of money in our bank, finally. And with this newfound money in our bank, I figured we'd go and see if the casino actually works or if there's anything special about the casino. And after going around it for a little bit, I winded up over at the blackjack tables. And I thought this was a pretty, pretty damn cool addition. Um, I'm not exactly sure if it's just off of the GTA Online one or where they took the script from or if they made the script themselves. But this was a really, really cool script. And especially with the whole sitting down animations and everything, it was super clean. And especially if you had a couple friends, I feel like this would be really fun to every once in a while go over to the casino with a couple friends, play some games of blackjack, chill out a bit. And now, unfortunately, I looked around the whole casino. I didn't see any other games, but there were a bunch of different blackjack tables which is still a pretty fun thing to be able to have on the server and again as i said before coming here with a bunch of friends would be a ton of fun i think and it was a really cool part of the server 
Then I headed over to the big bank where I found this spot where you can actually buy bonds. Now, I'm not exactly sure what these bonds are used for, but I thought it was pretty interesting. I also tested out the dropping here uh, just because I was curious how the dropping would work. And I realized it was a really cool system. So when you drop an item, it physically drops onto the ground as a physical item. And a lot of them are very unique as I tested a couple, uh, which I thought was a really, really cool thing. Instead of just having a placeholder item or something for the items you drop, it's actual items. So for instance, if I drop this wheel here, you will see that it is actually a wheel on the ground. Now this is a very small thing, but I think details like this really make a server feel unique. Again, I tested out with a couple items, and then after testing out, I decided to leave the bank. And I headed over to a diner, which again, they seem like they have a lot of these custom interiors, where it's not a huge entire thing, but it is still pretty cool, and it has actually the owner's name on it and everything. I thought little stuff like this was really cool. Now, of course, I couldn't craft here because I wasn't a chef or something. I'm guessing you have to either be hired or have a prescript for it or something like that, but I do think this was a pretty cool idea, and I'm pretty sure it also does show up on the map or it changes based if it's open or not and after getting back into our issue we finally continued and went over to yet another dealership this time the obey one uh, this has a custom interior as well which i thought was very very clean and i'm guessing it's pretty cool once there's people working here again i think i was on the server on one of the off hours so i really didn't see a ton of people except for at the different hot spots again the prices seemed a little expensive here i also noticed that there was a gauntlet s which i'm 99 percent sure is not in the vanilla game so it was cool to see an import at one of these ones uh, again it wasn't anything crazy but it was really nice to see at least a couple added added in modded cars uh, i believe there were also a couple more um but i didn't get to see them obviously right here i'm not sure exactly where you would get them from but there was definitely a couple modded cars that i thought were pretty cool again these prices were pretty damn expensive but it seems the economy is just different on the server having prices high is not a bad thing as long as the amount of money you earn is also high and after checking these out for a while and really looking at that gauntlet S, if I continue to play on the server, which I might since I do have a lot of cool features, I'll definitely be possibly trying to buy one of those. Now, after leaving the dealership, I headed over to this small electronics store, I believe it was Ace Electronics, where again, it was another open interior. There seems to be a ton of these on the server, and again, I'm guessing this is just an RP interior, and meant to be used for just RP and such. Maybe there's some hidden features in here that I didn't know about, but it was a pretty cool interior overall. There seems to be, again, a lot of these little small open interiors, which I think really makes the server unique to itself, and again, is a pretty cool feature overall, especially when you want to do RP certain ways. Now, after leaving the Ace Electronics store, we then headed over to check out the Benny's interior, which again, was a pretty clean one. Uh, a lot of servers use different interiors, but I thought this was a pretty nice interior for Benny's. Also, again, the options list or the menu list for the vehicles is pretty much the same exact style as all of the other ones. It would be nice if they used kind of a variety of different menu styles, but uh, honestly, as much as I really didn't like the aesthetic of it, it being super useful and super utilitarian was also very helpful. And again, I still definitely have some gripes with the look of the UI, but overall I think it is very useful and very, again, uh, utilitarian based, but could use a little bit more styling in my opinion. And as I was driving, I noticed this used car dealership and thought I would check it out. Now again, there seemed to be something that went on here as there were cops already here and a couple people. I know one of them was the dealer, but I didn't want to bother them too much. Uh, it seemed like there were a bunch of cars here. I wasn't sure how to check the prices, but since everything was going on and uh, I didn't really want to disturb whatever was going on too much, I decided to leave. But it is cool that there is a used car dealership with an actual dealer. Again, I'm pretty sure that guy in the yellow mask was a dealer as he tried to talk to something at the end, but uh, again, I didn't want to interrupt the scene, so I decided to leave at this point. And after driving around for a little bit, I decided to check out yet another dealership. There seemed to be a ton of these dealerships. Um, again, I think it was pretty cool to have a different diversity of different dealerships containing different cars or different tiers of cars or different kinds of cars such as the luxury ones, the off-road ones, the high-performance ones and such. I thought it was a pretty cool idea. This dealership also had a cool interior. Now I'm not sure if there's actually stuff you can do in here if you have certain job roles, but overall it was a pretty cool interior as well. And after heading back outside, I decided to again check out some of the cars for sale here. Now again, I've said this already a couple times in this video, but all the prices inflated 
are, you know, just definitely interesting, but it would be nice to see a more realistic economy. But again, if you pay a lot more money and everything costs a lot more money, it does even out. So I guess it's fine, but uh, it definitely was cool to see another dealership. Again, there are a ton of different dealerships in this server. And after being in the city for a while, I figured we would finally head up north. And on our way up north, I decided to check out the Yellow Jack and to see what kind of interior or what kind of features or functions would be a part of it. And after heading in, it seemed like, obviously, I'm, I believe that blue arrow means you'd be able to work there. And then there's also this green one where there was a bunch of different items on sale. Having a variety of items like this, which I'm guessing all of them have different properties and different uses, is also really cool on the server. And again, the UI is definitely lacking a little bit in my opinion, but it is very functional. And after buying, I believe, a repair kit and a couple drinks, I decided to leave. Unfortunately, I didn't have the money in my pocket for the repair kit, but we did, of course, get a couple pretzels at least. Uh, I also thought this was, again, a pretty decent uh, UI for the store, although, again, could use a little bit of improvement to make it look a little bit cleaner. But overall, everything was super useful and super responsive, which is a big thing on a lot of servers as well. And then I continued our way up north. Now before we get to our next talking point, I do want to say that the server seems like it does have a lot of features, but unfortunately it definitely seems like you don't figure those features out until you either level up your skills or of course you'll learn a lot of the stuff through RP. So so far with this new player experience, it has definitely felt uh, not exactly the best to help with new players, but again after I think 10 or 20 hours on the server you would be able to figure out a lot. Now the next thing we're going to be talking about right now is of course the one sync issue. Uh, that they use because stuff will randomly spawn on top of you as you see right here and I had no way to stop that unfortunately um, kind of annoying that there is stuff that spawns in and out like this and I can guess during high-speed chases and such it can be really frustrating especially if you just did a bank job or something like that and you're driving away from cops and all of a sudden a tow truck spawns on top of you it can be really frustrating um, and I'm not sure if it's worth the extra ton of FPS you do get from it but again I only had about a day's worth of experience and about three hours I think it took for this new player experience to make um, so again, I don't know exactly how consistent the issues like this are or if they are good at all. And after a while, we had finally respawned and I decided this would be probably where we were going to be ending the new player experience here. Again, I spent around two and a half hours to three hours on the server. Also, no idea what made this gas station blow up. I was very confused by it. Um, but after seeing that, I figured it would be about it for this new player experience. Now to go over my thoughts in a quick synopsis of the both new player experience and the server in general, let's go into that right now. <sighs> now, overall, starting off, um, starting off as you spawn in as a new player, you don't really get a clear direction. There's also no rentals at spawn, which I think a lot of servers miss out on, and also having no like small tutorial or anything to introduce you to the server. I think is that really uh, something missing from a ton of servers and this one as well. Also, there were no real explanation for what skills or different specialties do. Um, I was also able to select a heist specialty as well as a crafting specialty, but again, I had no idea what either one of them did, and of course, I just have to ask around, but being a completely new player on the server, you really don't get too much direction, unfortunately, into what to do or what different systems do do, uh, or if leveling them up actually does anything, and if so, what that stuff actually does. So it was a little frustrating at the beginning, for sure. Um, also, selecting jobs at the job center, not giving any instruction or info on where to go slash what to do was also very, very, very frustrating. And I think when you select a job at the job center, it should say something like, hey, now that you're hired as a mechanic, you can go here, do this, you can go do this, do this and this, etc. Or like say you selected the delivery driver, maybe saying there are packages waiting for you at the post stop, go head over there or something small like that, just so you actually know what you're able to do as a job. It was a little frustrating again, not being able to know. It also seems like there is a lot to learn uh, for a new player. I think it was very overwhelming, especially for me, uh, being put into the server with no real direction. Uh, again, it's an RP server, so I guess you're supposed to find your own direction, but at least script-wise, there didn't seem like much to do, like, go check out, since you're new to the city, go check out this rental, go rent a car, yada yada. It was kind of like you really resorted to having to steal a car to start off, there's really no other option, unfortunately. 
But it definitely did seem that uh, after I went through the systems and everything, talked to a couple people in RP, that there was a ton of stuff to do on the server. It's just that it is hard to find it out, which for a video like this, where we just take a small glimpse into a server, is not exactly super helpful. But uh, there definitely seems to be a ton to do on the server. Just as a new player in your first couple hours, it's definitely super overwhelming and you're not going to figure out a lot of it. But it seems as you go on and on and learn more and more about the server that there is a ton of activities to do, uh, skills to level up, jobs to advance, and it does seem like there is a lot to do on the server. It's just starting off, it's very difficult it seems. But uh, overall, at least from what I saw, there is a really good community on there, and I've heard there is a great community of there that has a bunch of streamers as well and a bunch of very helpful people. Um, but taking a look at just the features of this server, I think we are going to rate this server a 6.5 out of 10. Now, again i believe if i kept playing on the server that rating would eventually go up and up and up but for this video again we're just kind of looking at the new player experience as well as the features and such you can see from an outwards perspective without having to play on the server for too long but again i do think that is going to be about it for this server spotlight Again, we're going to be giving Twitch RP a solid rating of 6.5. Uh, again, it would be a lot higher if I had played a little bit more on the server, and there definitely is a lot of features to look forward to, but this video is not focusing on that. This video is focusing on the new player experience as a whole. So, I think that is going to be about it for this video again. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy, and if you did, please leave a like. These videos do take a lot of time to make, so a like or a sub would be very much appreciated. These videos, again, take a long time but either way hopefully you guys enjoyed the video again like if you want to like subscribe if you want to subscribe and see more either way i will see you guys in the next video